more. Give me more. Okay, you asked for it. Let's look at another, another example. How long should an investor continue to make monthly investments of 1,200 at a rate of 12% per annum compounded monthly if he wishes to have at least 200,000 in order to buy a car cash? The senior's first payment is immediately and that his last payment is made on the day that the investment matures. So always we make a timeline. We want to know how many investments must be made. So 0, 1, 2, and this goes on and to here. Okay, we don't know how many investments is made. We do know from the very beginning he's making 1,200 Rand as an investment. 1,200 as an investment, and this goes on all the way up to here. How long should an investor make monthly investments? Okay, so if he starts immediately, he starts at month month zero and uh, we know his future value we want him to in the future value of this should be 200,000 so future value formula there we go in this formula what information do we have we have future value as equal to 200,000 The monthly investment, the recurring investment, is 1,200. The interest that he is earning on this loan is 12% per annum compounded monthly, which means each month I'm getting 1%. You can look at it like that as well. I get 12% here, so I get 1% each time, so it's 0, 0,01. Okay, and how many times must he invest? Well, that's what we are going to find out. So let's put all of this into our formula. 200,000 is equal to 1,200. Oh, that's 12,000. 1,200. 1 plus 0, 0,01 to the power of n, which we don't know, minus 1. Line is way too long. Divided by 0, 0,01. And you can see here's the base and exponent which we want to have on its own. So we're going to do quite a bit of work to get it on its own. So first we multiply the 0, comma, um, 0, 1 on that side, which leaves me with two less zeros. So 2000 is equal to 1200. 1 plus 0, comma, 0, 1 to the power of n minus 1. And then we divide both sides with 1,200. If you mean 20 over 12, what's that? 10 over, uh, 10 over 6. No, 10 over 12. No, 20 over 12 is uh, 2 goes into itself once um, into, into its 10 over 6, and 3 over 5, 3 divides into 5, 1 point. Okay, so let's leave it at 5 over 3. Okay, leave it at 5 over 3. And then I've got a negative 1 on this side that's going to be added on both sides, plus 1 on both sides. So that's 3 over 3 on both sides, which leaves me with 1, 0, 1 to the power of n. I want that to be equal to, what is that, 8 over 3. 1, 0, 1 to the power of n should be equal to 8 over 3. And let's see, I said that to solve the exponent, I take log of the answer divided by log of the base. Okay, actually, let me do it the long way around, just to, to refresh your memory of the longer way around. So I take a log on both sides. Then I see the n multiplies to the front, leaving me with n. And this, which is going to be divided on both sides. So 
So I divide both sides with that. Log 1 comma 0, 1 is divided on both sides. And you see, it's log of the answer divided by log of the base. And I get an answer of 8 divided by 3. Log of that divided by one point zero one log is equal to ninety-eight point five seven payments. Ninety-eight comma five seven payments. So how on earth are you gonna make a ninety-eight point five seven payments? You're not. Okay. So payments should be ninety-nine payments. He's making ninety-nine payments. Even if it was 98.02 If he makes 98 payments, he's not there yet. He must make 99 payments, but he starts immediately So he's already made one payment when he starts so there's 98 payments left to make so you can either say this will be in 98 months why, why 98? Why not 99? Well, maybe you didn't understand what I just said because he makes his first payment immediately. So he's already done one of the 99 payments. Then there's 98 months left. So in 98 months, he will be ha have enough in that account after his 98 month. And you can again, 96 months would be 12 years. No, no, 8 years. 8 years. So that would be 8 years and 2 months, if you wanted to be show yourself smart. So, okay, I think you're asking for more. So let's give it to you. One more. A loan of 1,000 Rand is paid off by equal payments of 88 Rand and 85 cents per month. At a rate of 12% per annum compounded monthly, how long does it take to amortize the loan if the first payment is made at the end of the first period? Okay, so they didn't tell um, at the end of the first period, they don't tell us how long it is, only that initially the loan that was awarded was a thousand rand. So a thousand rand is a present value. And after one month, we start paying 88,85. 88,85 every month 88,85 all the way up till I make my last payment 88,85 and all I know is that every time I'm getting 1% interest added every time I pay I get 1% interest added to what I still owe where did I get 1%? well 12% compounded monthly 12% per annum compounded monthly Okay, and I'm rushing through this, I hope you're following me. So my present value is formula, there we go, 1 plus I, oh sorry, that's the wrong formula, 1 minus 1 plus I to power negative N over I. In this formula we know that our present, we don't know what in it, but we know the present value of our loan is 1000 rand. We know what our recurring payment is, 88.85. We know our interest on this loan. Each time I make a payment, I get 1% interest added to the balance. And then finally, my time period is what I am looking for. But all this considered, I can now substitute into my account, into my formula. I know what X is, 88.85. And 1 minus 1 plus 0, 0, 0,01 to the power of negative n divided by 0, 0,01. And once again, we are going to do this. So we multiply both sides with a 0, 0,01, which takes away two zeros, which means I get uh, 10. No. 10 is equal to 88,85. 1 minus 
1 from 0, 1 to power negative 8. Divide both sides with 88,85. And I'm not going to simplify it here because simplifying would mean that I'm going to have to uh, round off. So let's just keep, just keep this fraction keep for as long as possible. Okay. So then I see, okay, then I have 10 over 88. 85 is equal to 1 minus 1 comma 0 1 to the power negative n. So if I just take, I'm going to take this term to the other side, that will make it positive. Okay, so I have 1 comma 0 1 to the power negative n is equal to, and here I've got left 1 minus 10 over 88 comma 85. Okay, which means I've got negative n is equal to log of the answer 1 minus 10 over 88 comma 85 divided by log of the base and that will tell me negative n is equal to let's see 1 minus 10 over 88.85 gives me that. Log of that is divided by log of 1.1. 1 .1. So 1, uh, sorry I need to do that again, 1 minus 10 over 88.85, log of that, okay, it's divided by the answer which is the base, sorry, which is divided by 0.01 log of that. And I get negative 11 comma 99, I rounded to two decimal places, that's negative 12. Which obviously multiplying with a negative on both sides, you just change the signs. So n is equal to 12. So after 12 payments, Well then, your turn.